Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. I'm excited to announce that this channel is sponsored by Ultima Guard. I know you have a lot of options to choose from out there when it comes to sleeves, but my personal favorite ones are the ones made by Ultima Guard. I've tried other companies before, but no other sleeve has the balance of both durability and shuffle feel that I find with Ultima Guard. Find out if your local game store carries the Cortex sleeves from Ultima Guard, or click on the link down below to order yourself a set from Amazon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter John. Huge thanks to John and the rest of my Patreon supporters. John reached out asking for a reanimator deck with a $300 budget led by Sauron, Lord of the Rings. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Sauron, Lord of the Rings is an 8-mana 9-9 legendary avatar horror with Trample. When we cast Sauron, we amass Orcs 5, mill 5 cards, then return a creature card from our graveyard to the battlefield. Additionally, whenever a commander an opponent controls dies, the ring tempts us. So, cast triggers are pretty awesome and mean that we get the trigger even if our commander is countered. Unless they stifle the effect, of course. But Sauron is 8 mana to cast, so that won't be happening for a while. We can also build a deck that doesn't need him to hit the board. So we'll want ways to fill our graveyard, reanimation effects, and big scary creatures that we can cheat into play with our reanimation effects. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, two pieces of graveyard hate, one sudden I win card. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Rogue's Passage, Crumbling Necropolis, Underground River, Sulphurous Springs, Shivan Reef, Clearwater Pathway, Blightstep Pathway, River Glide Pathway, Temple of Deceit, Temple of Malice, Temple of Epiphany, Mistfault Bridge, Drossforge Bridge, Silver Bluff Bridge, Demir Aqueduct, Rakdos Carnarium, Is It Boilerworks, Bajuka Bog, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, Six Islands, Five Swamps, and Five Mountains make up our mostly budget mana base. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Indulgence, Talisman of Creativity, Demir Signet, Racto Signet, Izzet Signet, Chromatic Lantern, Wayfarer's Bauble, Sky Diamond, Charcoal Diamond, and Fire Diamond make up our Mana Ramp package. Wheel of Misfortune, Big Score, Unexpected Windfall, Faithless Looting, Buried Alive, Burning Rune Demon, Frantic Search, Entomb, Muldrifter, Thrill of Possibility, Runescarred Demon, Villis, Broker of Blood, Toxril, the Corrosive, Ancient Silver Dragon, Thirst for Discovery, and Final Parting allow us to dig through our deck and fill our graveyard as needed. Rakdos Charm, Noxious Gearhulk, Abraid, Bedevil, Negate, Counterspell, Terminate, Chaos Warp, and Infernal Grasp help us to interact with our opponents as needed. Blasphemous Act, and Toxic Deluge help us to reset the board as needed. Archpriest of Shadows, Animate Dead, Reanimate, 
Felden of the Third Path, Shieldred Whispering One, Persist, Victimize, Ancient Brass Dragon, and Breach the Multiverse serve as additional reanimation effects alongside our commander. Sneak Attack gives us the benefit of attacking with a big creature for cheap and then letting them go to the graveyard so they can be reanimated later on. But most of our core is made up of big nasty creatures that we can destroy our opponents with. Namely, Itali, Primal Storm, Lord Xander, the Collector, Archon of Cruelty, Jin Gataxius, Core Augur, Bladewing, Deathless Tyrant, Dracuseth, Maw of Flames, Silverclad Ferocidons, Lord of the Void, Mogus, God of Slaughter, Nullspine Dragon, Yadara, Wandering Monster, and Molten Primordial. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. Right on target. 16 pieces of card advantage. A little heavy, but most of that doubles as graveyard filling. 9 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Rakdos Charm and Bajuka Bog. 1 sudden I win card in Sneak Attack. Sneak Attack, as I explained earlier, helps us to accelerate our deck. We've got enough reanimation effects that we can easily get creatures back from our graveyard. And two of our creatures work as tutors, helping us to accelerate even faster. I'm very pleased with how this deck turned out and can't wait to hear from John on how well it performs. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Richard, Pob Zombie, Mark, Danny, Alex, John, Ignis, Daniel, Steve, and Kevin. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danan. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danan.